my pen is better than your pen. Yep, that's right. I'm bragging. I am telling you right now that my pen is better than yours. Why? Because I made it my pen. But you're going to make your pen yours just like I did by customizing the buttons on the side of it to improve your workflow. On the screen in front of you, I have the Wacom tablet properties, and I'm going to walk you through how I'm customizing my pen. To start, I'm going to point out the fact that I'm using the Intuos Pro Medium tablet here today. I also have a Cintiq plugged in, so that's why it's showing up in this row. In the second row, where it says Tool, I have three different tools that I can customize. Functions, Touch, and the Grip Pen. Obviously, we're focusing on the pen today. Finally, in the third row is where you'll find applications. This is where it gets interesting. You can assign the functions on the side of your pen specific to your favorite applications. So for example, you can see that all other applications is selected. Right now, the button on the side of my pen is set to the default right click and the default double click. If I tap on the Photoshop icon, you can see that the buttons change in their function. For example, this bottom one down here is set to Opt, which means Option, Alt if I were using Windows, and then this back button is set to a keystroke. Specifically, it says swap colors in Photoshop. That is the X key. So these are some of my favorites, and I'm going to show you how I set them up, and then I want you to think about what you might set up for the side of your pen. Let's go ahead and clear these out. I'm going to go ahead and click default for a moment here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of Photoshop altogether. I'm going to walk you through the process of how I add Photoshop to my application row. So let's say I want to add Photoshop to this application row so that I could customize my pen specific for that application. And while I'm talking about this, keep in mind that this process applies to any application, not just Photoshop. To the right of the application row, I'm going to click the plus sign. And a drop-down menu is going to show up, and it's going to show me all the different applications that I currently have running. I'm going to go ahead and select Photoshop. And by the way, if it wasn't already running, I could click Browse and go out and look for it. But I'm going to go ahead and click OK because Photoshop's what I want to add. So now you can see that Photoshop is added to the application row next to all other applications. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this bottom button, or I should say the forwardmost button to the pen tip. And there's no particular reason why, it's just where I prefer to place it. But I'm going to start with this button, and I'm going to click on the drop-down menu and select Modifier. The Option or Alt key is a modifier, so that's where you're going to find it. And I'm going to go ahead and click Option, and I'll select OK. So that's how simple it was to assign the front button of my pen the Option key. For the back button, I'm going to click on the drop-down menu, and this time I'm going to select Keystroke. Dialog box pops up. I'm going to go ahead and hit the X key on the keyboard, and then I'm going to name it Swap Colors. There we go, and I'll tap on OK. That was it. That's how easy it is to assign keyboard shortcuts to your pen. Now I want to point your attention to the All Other icon within the application row. When I click on it, you'll see that my functions have changed. Again, that's because I've applied application-specific settings. If you wanted to add multiple applications, you would simply repeat the process that I showed you before. All right, let's jump over to Photoshop here and take a look at the functions that we just created. For example, I have the healing brush selected. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this young man's face. Let's say, for example, we want to get rid of some of the blemishes and acne and things like that. I'm going to hold down the front button of my pen, and you're going to see on your screen that the source point selector shows up here. Let me go ahead and tap on any one of these different areas right there. And now you can see at the source, actually if I come over here you can see this even better, you can see the source. And I'm just going to very gently paint over this young man's acne. Again, I'm going to select the front button of my pen, that is the Option or the Alt key. And I'm making multiple selections with this particular healing brush so that I could match the texture that it is healing. There we go, a little bit over there and over here. Let's say, for example, we were working with a layer mask. Let's go ahead and create uh, two different versions of this image. I'm going to go ahead and run Camera Raw as a filter, and I'm just going to crank up the clarity in this case. I want to make kind of a nice, uh, gritty sort of a look. Let's crank that way, way up. I'll go ahead and click OK, give that a second to run. So now we've got this really sharp, pixelated kind of an image. It looks a little rough. Probably not bad for a hockey player, but that might be a little bit over the top. So let's say we wanted to dial it back a little bit. I'm going to click on the new layer mask icon in the layers panel. You'll see in my layers that I've got this white thumbnail right there. I want to make sure that I have black in the foreground, and I'm going to hit the B key on the keyboard to select my paintbrush tool. Incidentally, you know that the front button of the pen is set to the option key, so when I press it, I get the eyedropper there. 
But again, what I want to do here is I want to flip over my foreground and background colors. Right now, black is in the foreground, so if I were to paint on this young man's face, it's going to mask out that uh, kind of clarity adjustment that we've just made. But if I were to hit the back button on my pen, you can see that my foreground and background colors are flipping over. So if I wanted to mask that back out or reveal that clarity adjustment, I can go ahead and paint that right on there. So again, using the back button assigned to the X key is a really quick way of swapping your foreground and background colors, and I find that really beneficial when I work with a layer mask. So I encourage you to assign the button on the side of your pen your favorite keyboard shortcuts or functions. That's going to be a great way of improving your productivity and helping you work more efficiently. I hope you enjoyed this tablet tip.